Yo, yo, what's up, guys? This is T. Now, in this video, I want to go over some automation techniques, um, really basic stuff you can do to um, your track that you got going now. There's going to be more advanced ones going down, but we got to go over the basics first and foremost. So let's go over this. You know, um, first of all, I wanted to go over um, how we can get a fade in and a fade out. So it's really simple if we know about automation. We can right click this right here, which is the volume. And you got to remember, we got to go, okay, go into the mixer first of all. And you got to remember that um, automation is like <clears throat> you're automate you're making it move automatically without you having to do anything and you couldn't do it without it really so um, it's really important now we can set the volume to a certain point so if we set it all the way to zero then it's not gonna play if we set it all the way back to 80 or whatever um, the default at 80 percent or whatever 100 percent you don't want to set it at 100 and have it peaking but anyways we'll set it close to that you know and then um now that creates a fade in because it's um it's rising from zero to 80 percent in um, the amount of four bars since that's the amount of time we did it for which is the intro and we could set it to however long we could set it really long but we don't want to do that we want to set it to where we want it right here so let me play it and you can hear it gradually getting louder So that's a fade in, right? And then you can go and do the same thing over here and fade out. And we could zoom in, right click, you know, drag it to where you want it. Let's scoot this over a little bit and then pull this down over here. And that's a fade out. And I'm doing it for the out, you know, the um, my outro. So whatever, you know. And this beat's not perfect or whatever. It's just some old beat. But anyways, I'm just demonstrating this, you know. So let's go over a couple other things that we could do. I want to add some EQing that we could do. I want to um, I want to add an EQ on the master. Let's add an EQ on the master. Now this will go on the whole master track. Now what I want to do is shut off all the. I want to shut off all the high frequencies so it opens up into the song. So. We could have it, you know open to close so what we want to do is set it all the way to closed where we want and I'm gonna put it right there and now you gotta remember that it's literally doing that through the whole song so if you don't use an automation clip you're gonna be confused because it's making your song really you know um treble low you know it's bass heavy actually it's cutting off the high frequency so anyway let's create the automation clip and then let's set this to only activate during this four bar so I'm gonna have it a hundred percent active actually I'm not gonna have it a hundred percent active I'm gonna make it go a hundred percent on to slowly turning off and then that'll create that effect so that'll create an opening effect so in in sense what we're doing to the EQ is this what the automation clip is doing since it's going from a hundred right here since it's going from a hundred to zero percent right here what we're doing is going 100 over here. This is 100% all the way to zero, back to back to normal zero, and then it goes goes back for the. Okay, so let's do that. I want to do that. So let's see how that sounds, and let's turn this off over here. That way, it's not gonna keep doing it through the whole song. And it's more noticeable if we do something like put it right here, but we don't, you would never do this because it wouldn't sound correct, you know what I'm saying? But this is just to demonstrate it, you know, you can really hear the, the frequencies be cut off and open. And you can really, really get into it if you want to like, um, you know, cut it hard. And keep, you know, keep it back. And it's up to you, however you want to use these. It creates like a dynamic, but you know, you don't need to do all that. And you most likely won't, but I just wanted to show you what you can do with, um, you know, some of it. So that's pretty cool. I thought that was pretty cool now. Um, you know, it's just basic, you know. But anyways, let's add one more thing on here. Let's add panning. And let's pan this, you know, left and right. And I think that's really helpful too because... 
when you get into your song, it creates a lot of dynamic. When you want something to move in between, or it, I think it works awesome on vocals when you um, take them and move, pan them, uh, the vocals. But anyways, um, and you automate the vocals to pan all over. That's 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 cool. Anyways, um, let's pan the let's pan the intro again. You know, mine as well. Now you gotta remember, panning down is all the way up. I'm sorry, down is all the way left, and 100% up is all the way right. So all the way at zero, which is left, and then all the way up is 100%, which is right, and then the middle is, you know, um, no pan. So we can listen to it. And we can really tell in here. And then we want to... I mean, either set it back to zero or keep it panning. So it's up to you. And I set it back to. So I had you'd have to set it back to the middle. And then you can keep panning it, you know, more and more. Let me just let me try that real quick. You can keep panning, um, whatever you want however you want is fast so and then we can cut that and delete these and just clone that for a little bit and then we have you know our panning going on whoops and that's pretty helpful I don't know, I'm just putting them randomly so you can just hear them in the, in context. So that's that, you know, thank you for watching, this is TV since this is basic automation, so I just want to show you guys a couple basic automation things, so thank you for watching, peace out.